My name is Anthony Sayers and I present Dell. Maybe for some of you, you might wonder why Dell? Why is Dell on the stage today? I think I have half an hour to change your minds and give you a different perspective and give you a pragmatic message and a simple message about why you'd want to work with us and why we're working with many different partners. I'd like to mention Rod O'Shea from Intel, a key partner in our efforts as we work together to make a framework and a blueprint for the Internet of Things. So it's a privilege to be here. So what we chose sustainability is to really look at, if you think about today's theme, you think about smart cities, think about the resources we have, the work that we're doing in Dell today actually is around sustainability. We're also, as a company, are keen about sustainability. We practice our own sustainability message. So globally, as we work, we have a pragmatic program as to how we manage our own footprint as a company. And I'll run through what we're doing internally so you get a sense of how we're enabling our own technologies as a company. So it's both external and internal. So just to put some you know, facts and figures, and you've heard a lot of it today, the resource constraints we've been spoken about today, we know about rapid urbanization, and we understand that we need to look at how we create a smart environment. And we do have a smart city initiative as Dell. We are researching. We have a chief innovation office that is researching smart cities today, and we are actually involved. But we also need to see there are practical building blocks, a framework, if you will, that allows us to start to build out some of those today. And that's why I say start now. Build in analytics. Think about security everywhere. So we've created a framework, and this is our message around sustainability and the ability to leverage these resources that are limited today to the best of your advantage. So in terms of the trends, we're aware of them, but I think the main thing that we want to say today at the tipping point that we're at, it is the technological advancements that we're experiencing and heard about in the room today that are now enable us to start to actually deliver these technologies now. It's not just about the hype. There are deliverables today that begin to provide real opportunity. Analytics being a core part of our business. And at our stand outside in the hall here at Dell Software, we are actually demonstrating and talking about our software, and which is an extensive portfolio. It gives us many of the assets that enable us to start talking about IoT across the spectrum. So those advancements in technology, whether it's to do with the power of compute, whether it's to do with Moore's law, whether it's to do with things like you know, cost of memory, connectivity we've spoken about today, the telco segment is absolutely key to that connectivity. So we're not just isolating IoT in its own box. IoT becomes part of the fabric or the framework of the enterprise. And Dell is an end-to-end -end technology company from the enterprise to the PC. And I'll talk about what we're doing to extend into that to make us relevant in the Internet of Things. So trying to determine the market size, as you all know, it's massive. It's billions, it's trillions, lots of connected things. Five billion people connected to the Internet by 2020 and so on. You're all aware of those stats. Those figures are everywhere. But at Dell, what we're trying to do is look at how do we leverage a portfolio. We've made something like $18 billion of acquisition in the last few years. Dell is a private company now for one and a half years. One of Michael Dell's great quotes is that we're the world's largest startup. As the world's largest startup, it's enabled us to move very quickly and very quickly in terms of being agile in how we address this. So the assets we've acquired and Dell's own intellectual property based on open standards, open interoperability, working with key partners such as Intel, Microsoft, and many others, have enabled us to assemble a portfolio of products, services, and software that help us address this end-to-end -end need. Now, of course, Dell isn't going to claim to be an end-to-end -end IoT company. We can't, nor can anybody else in this room. So therefore, we have to have collaborative partnerships that drive meaningful and pragmatic approaches to delivering that. So yes, we do partner. We partner with all sorts of people, and some of you in the room are experiencing those partnerships across Europe, Middle East, US, and APJ. So what have we been doing? I think I wanted to sort of, before I spelt out what we're doing, I thought maybe it's important to talk about some references. And it's important that we start looking at 
how we enable building automation solutions, a key focus of us, and we're enabling is how do we start to help buildings, or for instance, let's talk about hospitality industry, save on and enable smart use of their resources and building to provide a far better service, not just about the utilities of the building, water, power, detecting water leaks, but to enabling a better service to you as a customer. We're all consumers. So it'd be nice if the hotel knew when I was arriving, and they also knew that I liked my room at 22 degrees. So they didn't have to wake up the aircon when I walked in. They could gradually cool my room and save on the power and the HVAC system so that it was a, a much more pleasant route into the power and therefore save some of those costs. So we've been doing some work um, in partnerships, but also you know, we've enabled real costs and real solutions in determining the savings you'd make by implementing gateway solutions, talking to sensors, and starting to deliver the analytics at the edge rather than just in the cloud. We've been working with even into the racing industry, enabling, for instance, a company, a racing team in the US, JTG Racing, we've enabled them to optimize their racing solution in their car and using things like predictive analytics have delivered a far greater performance than ever before and therefore start to optimize and win. We're working in agriculture, working with smart cows. We've been working in India enabling a system where we've now achieved a yield, a 30% improvement yield on milk. Think about that in terms of also the industries of retail, whether it's transport, whether it's the elements connected to healthcare. There are many areas that we are working today, some of them which are public, some of them are still private, and there are a lot of proof of concepts we're doing as well. And we extend our portfolio, our capabilities through our Dell Solution Centers, and we have one here in Dubai, we've already invested in that, and we have a Dell Solution Center that enables us to share our technologies and showcase our partner technologies in our, in our lab here in Dubai. So we have real examples. So how do we give our message? Where do we see it? We see it two things. I represent a division of Dell called Dell OEM Solutions. We're a 16-year-old division of Dell. We're a global division. And we address something like 40 different verticals. We specialize in vertical markets, in dust automation, manufacturing, retail, and so on, into aviation, military, et cetera. And we've adapted many of our products to fit into these environments, whether we're embedding, whether we're integrating, whether we're adding straight to the intellectual property of that company. And these customers of our division are, in fact, our partners. They're our partners that enable us to address IoT opportunity, whether it's within the framework of a smart city, whether it's in a submarine, whether it's in a smart ship, whether it's in a smart port. So we're working actively already because we have this experience. So we see this as a world of operational technology that starts to converge or bridge into information technology. These are two different environments. For those that understand the world of machine to machine, operational technology is ages old. It's decades old. It's nothing new. IT has been around for many, many decades too. But they don't talk to each other. So we see the gap, we see the opportunity to start to converge this area, bridge it, if you call it. And that bridge is how you start to look at converging the internet and using data. And as Rod mentioned earlier on from Intel, data is your new currency. The data analytics, and when you start to move to predictive analytics, you start to have a very different opportunity in how you look at your business, how you reorganize your business. Bosch has publicly announced it's reorganizing its business around IoT, a significant investment. New products, new services, new revenue streams, new companies that will trade data because now we can start to bring multiple sources of data and start to do the big data analytics and produce new forms of information never considered before. So it's about IT plus OT equaling IoT. So you know, we have a very clear definition and a clear idea about what we think in terms of how you want to share that data. A lot of the data in, a sen in terms of sensors is useless. If it's all passed to the cloud, there's latency issues, there's cost issues. So how do you start to architect an environment where you don't have to send everything back to the cloud, everything back into a big data engine? 
What if you could do it in a simpler form? What if you could distribute your computing and start to leverage the environment where you're in and only send that data when you need to? So the security aspects are massive. Start to think about the privacy, the regulatory, and we sit on consortiums that are dealing with the regulatory. So we believe that you need to start thinking about how you secure end-to-end, -end, and we'll enable that from our Dell's own IP and our partners' intellectual property to start to enable end-to-end -end security. Our answer, we've invested in a new Dell global IoT division. It's made up of services, sales, marketing, but also engineers, planners, right through into our Dell services solutions and software, where we've created an IoT practice that begins to set out how are we going to leverage our portfolio and our partners to be able to do this? And what have we done? We've enabled ourselves by bringing out a gateway. Our first gateway, in fact, is here. It's, it's been uh, hidden on the stand, on our software stand there, but it's available to be seen. But our gateway, working in conjunction with Intel as Intel Architecture, enables us to start moving compute to the edge, not putting everything to the, to the cloud. So we believe that if you start to allow the choice whether you need to do analytics at the edge, analytics in the cloud, you should have the choice. What's the best way to set up environment? Not every environment would suit streaming to the cloud. So we believe that the gateway technologies that are available and when we're developing and future gateways will be enterprise class. Because as a company that's leveraging enterprise technologies in IT, you'd want to leverage that infrastructure to secure the gateway that talks to the sensors to ensure you can manage that environment and secure it end to end. So why not leverage your enterprise? And that's what Dell does. We're an enterprise company. So you need to take critical decisions. Real-time decisions need to happen in the environment. If you're managing this whole convention center, if the smoke detector goes off, does it tell it to switch off the gas supply? Does it open the doors? Does it set off the alarms? Does it contact the fire department? I believe it does, because I heard it presented about it today. If it didn't, then you're vulnerable. So you need to be able to make real-time decisions in a steady state environment. The exceptions are when it detects something is wrong. It then passes the information back, and the analytics can act real-time to make a decision on what to do next. So you can act upon that. But the step that goes even further is you start using not the analytics just to make real-time decisions, but predictive solutions. One well, of the key companies that Dell has acquired is a company called Statsoft, and the product we use is called Statistica, it allows us to use that. We are actually utilizing the software to improve gold yields and, and diamond yields in mines in South Africa, to improve manufacturing processes, to optimize manufacturing and improve the return of investment. We have many cases of analytics working and starting to talk to sensor data. The gateway enables us to push that environment to allow for an edge environment, an edge compute environment. So we have a very clear mind and pragmatic idea about how we should do that. A lot of traditional gateways are expensive, they're proprietary, they're not necessarily managed or secure. And so we're here to disrupt that. We want to leverage Dell's 31-year-old business, its DNA in PC building to server building enabling us to move that same DNA of ideas and technology into the gateway environment. So I said at the beginning that IoT represents a tall stack of IT, information technology. Dell has built its combination, its portfolio around things such as endpoint solutions and gateways, how you acquire and aggregate data at the edge and make decisions at the edge, infrastructure around networking, and with networking partners too, but with networking how you put the data in the right place at the right time. Data management, integration, how you start to look at the big data environments in the open stack using Cloudera, our partners, and how we demonstrate how we can build our own intellectual property around big data capabilities. And then looking at advanced analytics, business insights, and turn data into something that's really useful that you can make a decision on or make a predictive decision on and start to use in that other technologies, assistive technologies that allow you to go and repair or maintain a device that's remotely in the field, like an electrical switch or an HVAC on top of 35 floors, and be able to repair that using augmented reality solutions 
on a real sense camera using on a, on a tablet from Dell. These technologies enable people to make smart moves to enable them to manage environments using that from act, so they're able to act on these decisions. You want to manage that environment, so I mentioned about taking the enterprise and moving that manageability across to the gateway, so you have end-to-end -end manageability. Security, it's not just about device, it's about data, but application. It's about encryption, encryption of endpoint data, encryption of data on the move. That's what's important in terms of how you start to secure things like having a trusted platform module in a gateway to actually secure it. And then Dell Services, with our rich ecosystem of partners, allows us to design an ecosystem based on partnerships and collaborative partnerships. And then we use things like Dell Services. For instance, Dell Support Services uses its own technology to do predictive support services. So we can actually enable customers to see and warn them before a server is actually going to drop using predictive analytics. So this represents our portfolio, an end-to-end -end portfolio made of many assets. So just in terms of what we do in Dell, just I think maybe it's good to share some facts. We want to look at things like reducing energy intensity of our products and portfolio by 80% by using components in our products that are recyclable, using packaging that is 100% from sustainable sources, claiming and reclaiming back electronic components so that we can actually recycle them. So as a company, we practice what we preach. We deliver on this infrastructure. As an employee, I'm privileged to live in a company and work in a company that does actually do what it says it does on the package. So my message at the end of this is, you know, we have a pragmatic approach. We want to help get customers started today. Believe you should start with what you have. If you've got a company, the ability to start to build on what you have today by doing a simple project, working into a proof of concept, you can start to, today, start to look at how can you do that. You need to build and look for analytics. How will you deal with the architect how will you do that? And how will you gain from that? So you can start to utilize those resources and applications to do that from big data, for instance. And you want to put security first everywhere. It's a big point around privacy, around your certification and regulatory that you want to look at. So we believe in these three messages. Start with what you have, architect for analytics, and put security first. And that is my presentation. And thank you for listening.